right, here we go. An unboxing of a uh, our Beast Clans booster box. Now, I've already done a video about the starter decks of Beast Clan. I didn't really do an in-depth look into the game or into uh, the uh, the decks themselves. I did a basic discussion. It's a game where you have a special card type called a ruler, which is based on an animal, and you can level that up to have access to more of the game's resource called Biomass, which is a twist on the size or the limit mechanic. I compared it to the game We Cross, which uses a similar mechanic where when your character levels up, they can control more um, more resources in play. You have beasts that go into play and you have to pay their maintenance costs. Um, that video was mostly about the product presentation of Beast Clans and how it was really kind of lackluster in that the front was great. It emphasized the fact that there were two decks. It used big artwork and shiny cards, but then everything else fell pretty short on uh, on what it could do. Like the back of the box had no useful information. The, uh, the inside of the box didn't seem to really justify the look. I mean, you can see the condition of the rule book, which is already like really scuffed up with the ink and it didn't mention the game's win condition until page 22 which is way 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 too late to do that i've done a discussion about how you want to make sure that it's one of the first things that your uh, players get an understanding of and today we are going to be taking a look at the booster box and remember how one of my big complaints was that there was no information on the box well there's no information anywhere on this box either and this is compared to other games that put plenty of information on the box like i've done the digimon card game and that has information on the contents on every side and there are two reasons to include this information i'm not sure why they didn't i mean they just have the barcode back here they don't even have like copyright information or like a website address to go as on here i'm not sure what their goal was behind it but like i said it does two things first of all it fails to give people information that they need to, you know, make informed buying decisions. Like, what is actually in this box? I mean, I can see booster packs through the window here, but how many booster packs are in here? And how many cards are in each booster pack? Well, the box itself is not giving me any of that information, so I'm not really sure what I'm buying here. I mean, I know Beast Clans does a lot of their, a lot of their sales online, but that is no way to, uh, sustain a card game where people need to meet up and play and trade and stuff like that. Um, second of all, it makes it look like a bootleg product. Like, I'm sure that you have been out to, like, like flea markets or dollar stores or even some of those, like, little, like, little shops built into the mall that have what claim to be, like, legitimate, like, Avengers toys or Dragon Ball toys, but, uh, you know, they're obvious bootlegs when you look inside but on the packaging they just take stock artwork and just slap it all over the place without like any of the copyright information or backup info or like diagrams of the toys or anything like that it's just stock artwork slapped all over the place that's what this reminds me of this this decision to not include text or relevant information makes this box look like a like like it's a counterfeit of itself it hurts the the sense that this is like a real thing like on the like on the sides of the box like on the front it should probably say like oh like 10 card booster packs or something or on the on the on the back it should say oh this is how many booster packs this is how many cards are in the set what's in each booster pack yada 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 something that basically every other booster box that is on the market does so anyway let us uh get the plastic wrap off of here this is sealed i got this thing for a steal these are cards from 2017 so pretty recently it's not like some of the games where uh, where they're like super old it's 2017 the the industry has made its uh, its plethora of mistakes and these guys had the chance to learn from it like i said i haven't really passed judgment on the game at all it seems like it's kind of interesting but the product does a really poor job of selling itself so we have a little pop-up diagram with uh, an eagle i suppose uh there's no information on here so here we have the boxes we have are there multiple different kinds of pack designs nope this one contains just one and there you go trading card game 10 additional game cards this looks exactly like what they use for pokemon this looks exactly like what they what a, a pokemon card uh, pack looks like that's like the same the same image the same font 
Um, it even has kind of the same, you know, design here with the, the brightly colored stripes on the side with the image on the front. Um, the image is centered a bit, a bit poorly. It's a bit low on the thing. They, they, uh, I, I'd maybe grab somebody to, to spruce up the layout. And as I predicted, there's not really anything, anything on the back. There's the UPC and there's Beast Clans, copyright Beast Clans, but there's no information about like pack ratios and stuff like that. Things that other games tend to include, um, things, disclaimers, uh, places to, uh, you know, the website or something, something that people can look up. Um, I have the rule book on me. We'll see how well this, uh, this game does other things. So it has the pull tab on it, which is uh, a nice thing to see, but I like to keep at least one copy of the pack in reasonably intact shape for uh, archival purposes. So let's see if I can get one of these things to open without destroying it. Ah, looks like there's a bit of overlap here. Maybe I can get, um, oh, oh, maybe, maybe, oh, oh, oh. Ah, come on, darn it. Ah. Daggummit. I think I'm gonna have to... Ah, no, this thing is just... It's just demanding to open. So... Ah, we have the shiny... They put the rare on the top. That's, uh... Hmm. You usually don't want to do that. A lot of people like to like to have the, the rare on the bottom. I guess I'll be more careful when I open it. But yeah, the nice, super shiny rare. Red Tip the Fox. So a mountain beast. Reveal cards until you find a castle. Put castle in your hand. Other cards reveal this way are shuffled back into your deck. So... Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, a quick ball for a nice, uh, a nice, uh, an, a nice effect. So it has a, a nice on play ability. That's pretty good for a rare. Basque NATO. Oh no, they made a, they made a, they made a shark NATO card. It's a, it's the newest street shark Basque NATO. <laughs> um, it's a, uh, it's a rebel. It's a generic type with the, uh, the black border here. As long as Basque NATO is on the field, equipment cannot be wielded. Um, so I assume, I assume, uh, equipment, does that mean it cannot be attached to a creature? Does that mean, what, what does it have to do with uh, uh, cards that are already in play? Or is it, uh, is it because uses are there? So he has a lockdown effect. This is maybe something that I would have considered to be a rare. This is like a side, like, standard, I'd assume. Armored Armadillo. Armadillo. Uh, Savannah. Okay, I, I thought he had, like, uh, the, the black, the black lines there as well. Guardian. I, I believe that's this game's version of Blocker. Civil War bayonet with a blunderbuss and uh, and uh, yeah, I don't think they used blunderbusses in the Civil War. Beasts that take damage from Civil War bayonet cannot attack next turn. Okay, um, now items have something called a use effect, so I can't just like stun lock something with this. It only works for two turns. I'd need an ability that would allow me to uh, recycle it. Oh, it's Mars, so it's supposed to be from the Bayou, I guess. It's a Bayou net, not a bayonet. Uh, Hammer hog. Savannah Beast, double tap. Um, double tap, what does that mean? It's the first set. It should probably have that on there, although it has a lot of uh, has a lot of other effects on there. Double tap. This beast may attack twice during your turn. A beast a beast ability prevalent to the Savannah Kingdom. Beasts with double tap may attack two times instead of the usual one. Oh, okay, so he can attack twice. Which, considering he costs only three, that's pretty strong. When Hammerhog deals damage to a royal enemy, you may discard one card from your hand, then draw a card. So you can cycle a card if you damage with him, and you can do that twice. That's really good, considering he only costs three. Skeleton Armor. Armor. If wielder is discarded as a result of combat, return Skeleton Armor to your hand. Oh, that's pretty good. And uh, I believe Armor is one that you can use... Uh, I think that's one you can use when you're attacked. Let's see if it'll say... Ability armor. This equipment may be wielded by beasts or royals when they are attacked. Okay. Um, they have the they have the clarification on there, like I said. Um, since this is your first set, if, if, if the card doesn't have a lot of other text on it, like these have a lot of text that fill the box, but any if, if it had just this, if it just had armor as a generic ability, that's a place to include your reminder text. Amazon dart gun. Lose 20 might. Okay. That's another weapon. Rubber armor. Ignore all damage that would be dealt by equipment the attacker is wielding. Vine whip. I got just several jungle equipment in a row. When it inflicts damage, look at the top card of your deck. You may discard it. Okay. Uh, and bamboo battens. I got a lot of equipment in that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out of the ten cards, six of them were equipment. I got no locations, no royals, uh, no other actions. If you do, bamboo battens gains 20 might. So... We're going to try to see if I can get another one to open cleanly. 
because mm, the the cards uh how do these feel compared to the ones in the box Eh, they feel about the same do 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 i know i'm agonizing by uh by doing this but uh, let's see arg these things are just determined to rip horribly huh oh well here we go so now i know the rares on the top so i can slap it to the back as quill so we have a uh, peacock a rebel your rebel tokens gain plus one might and plus ten life as long as as quill is on the field what do they mean tokens hmm that's a different one uh let's see tiny tenzin Rebel, another rebel when Tenzin enters the field target beast loses its abilities that's another thing we're gonna have to write down oh boy Spinks uh, Spinks take control of target castle uh, leave field return control of target castle uh, cost of four to steal an opponent's uh, landmark that's interesting asteroid another rebel one deal 30 damage to target beast or royal for two uh, that's not bad deal 40 damage to target royal lightning savannah it's literally asteroid but better and half the price wow okay so I'd probably want that in a Savannah deck. Glass Shield, Desert Weapon. If Glass Shield damages a beast that is wielding equipment, discard that equipment. And it's Armor. Uh, does it deal its damage back during an exchange? I, I guess it's an exchange of combat. Pharaoh's Headpiece. I got this one in the deck. So starter deck cards will appear in the packs. Sand Cannon. That one was as well. I've been getting a lot of equipment in here. That's kind of weird. Uh, this one was also in the deck. When Sand Cannon reaches zero uses, discard target equipment the opponent controls. Bayou Boomerang. That's the that's the crawl, isn't it? Is that what that is? The the crawl? I have like the I have like the, the Atari game for this, but that's uh uh oh what was it called? It was called something else. Was it called like the, the Gladius or something? It was it was uh it's from the it's from the from the movie from the from the story crawl, so that's why it's usually called that. Or let me let me double check. Hang on. Yeah, here it is, crawl. Uh, not the not the best uh, condition, but you can see that's the weapon right there with the the little the little star. It's it's literally the crawl. Okay. And our rare for the pack. It looks like it's another red, and it is double drill mountain beast. Whenever double drill deals damage to a royal, his controller discards a card from their hand. That's not bad. He doesn't have any like has like no stats, but who knows? All right. So the rest of these we're just gonna we're just gonna gonna use the pull tab here. Oh, I guess if you open it by the pull tab, you don't have to see what's in it, but we know rare is on the top, so we're going to move it to the bottom. Spine boy. That's a very spiny boy. Uh, discard any beast from the field that dealt damage to him this turn. Stealth squid. So he, ba he basically has, he has retaliate. Breach. Now that's something that allows you to play it. Uh, target beast flips face down is treated as though it had been breached. <clears throat> breach is a weird one i believe you play it face down and it counts as a weapon but then when all of its uses are over it flips face up oh. yeah, like that tri sword whenever you play a weather card tri sword gains plus 10 might and plus 10 life until end of turn oh so they will occasionally they will sometimes have biomass cards in there so this brings me up to 13 so oh look at that it's just three biomass that seems like a bit much for one pack uh why not go with the uh the the uh the pokemon method and have one per pack that seems hmm, the distribution is weird feather shot the ostrich deal 30 damage to target beast or royal savannah seems to have a lot of direct damage uh general G giraffino giraffino gains plus 10 might uh, Mincer Meerkat. So it looks like I'm thinking that I'm getting just straight down the line cards. I think I remember Bakugan had this problem too, where the booster packs contain just you know like straight runs, like straight counting up the numbers here. And another red Antlar. At least they've been different, but <clears throat> kind of feels like I'm just kind of running down the line. Let's just let's let's randomize these so I'm not just getting red cards all the way. So we're gonna shuffle these a bit. Uh, shuffle them. shuffle them around because if i got nothing but red rares in this pack i'd be kind of disappointed okay and uh we'll shuffle shuffle these two but yeah i mean it's nice that i can get biomass i believe that gave me the the, the number 13 i need to actually make the starter deck usable but yeah that's another thing to keep an eye on make sure that you're 
game comes with pretty much everything players will need. Uh, or at least mention that things to monitor health, like tokens or dice, are needed. Like, make that in, like, a not included section here. And, uh, don't copy Pokemon's, uh, Pokemon's design aesthetic, like, to the letter like that. Man, I've, now, because of this video, everybody knows that I own a copy of the, of Krull for Atari 2600. Oops, I did it again. Uh, I keep forgetting that the rare's on top and I need to put it on the bottom. Princess Delphine. Okay, so I got a, uh, I got a royal. So this is, uh, I guess certain royals are common. So this is level one. Breach costs one less biomass. Oh, wow, that seems, that seems really useful. Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty good right there. So I guess we'll set her in the center here. King Iron Light. Wait, I got two rulers in this. I got three rulers in this pack. Why? Yeah, that's weird. It's like it's taking randomly taking three cards and counting down. So I got three royals. King Iron Lion, Queen Elephant, and Princess Delphine. I assume actually getting their final forms is what will be the difficult part. We got Diamond Helmet, Night Vision Goggles, Hunter's Munition, Rhino Skin Armor, Elephant Tusk. Yeah, it's it's just giving me them in order, which is, uh, that's, that's just bizarre. That's bizarre. That is, that's a weird way to do your pack distribution. This is, this is something that clearly needed some work. Pyrofort, this came the starter, but I got one. Missile Mingo. Whenever this beast enters the field, you may pay one. If you do, whenever a beast enters the field, you may pay one. If you do, deal 10 damage to that beast. Oh, wow. Can I, can I resolve that effect multiple times if I get a full set of missile mingos in play can i just ping everything down to death all right so princess delphine breach costs one less biomass i believe breach has a set cost arg i keep forgetting that the rare is uh, the rare on the bottom king blue wall we got another one queen mama j fish prince orcon i believe he's in the starter deck that's weird. The Royals in the starter deck really should not be in the booster pack. Those should be starter deck exclusives because you only need one copy of them. Ninja Outfit. We randomly have a human being in this Beast Clans game. <clears throat> okay. Beast Wielding Ninja Outfit gain Vanish until your next turn. And that's a generic. Shotgun Harley. More generics. Oh my god. Six generic weapons and El Skeeto. Vanish. This beast... Oh, there we go. So they do do reminder text. This beast cannot be targeted by abilities. Okay. Neat. So it will... Uh, so it will give you... Uh, it will give you reminder text. But six generic weapons. Uh, there. Oh, yeah. There's no... There's no, like, collector information on here. There's no rarity indicator. There's no... Uh, there's no uh, item indic. There's no uh, there's no collector number, but I imagine I just got a straight run of collector number cards down the line. This is this is a terrible way to 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 organize your booster packs. I'm not sure what shop this came from, but I'd give him a call if I was uh, the one in charge of making this game. All right, so rare to the back. Oh no, bull shot. <laughs> Uh, they made they 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 drew Cable. Oh, wh why didn't they call him Cable? Because he he looks like the Marvel hero Cable with all the guns and stuff. I'd have called him Cable. <laughs> that might have been a bit much there, but he has a cost of seven. So we have Ninjasa, another case where it's a straight run of three, and then we have another straight run of three. Aquafort, Tavern, and Junkyard. Yeah, three castles. Catman Poo. I believe that's supposed to be a reference to Catman Do, and we got some more biomass. Oh, I don't want to put those there. And we got some more biomass and another copy of Antelar. <laughs> Next, I have a lovely trash can of items here. Oop. Okay, rare to the back. Princess Sharptail. So we have another royal, but it's going to be three royals because that's how this works, apparently. King Ramazard, Queen Fire Llama. It's all the level ones are the... Are there, did I get any level twos just kind of snuck in? No, just all level ones. I assume the level twos and threes are like rares and painfully difficult to get. You must pay, play this card before you play any beast. No beast may be played until your next turn. So this is basically, a, this is, that's it's cold wave. Mega quake, target beast gains guardian. Gravity shift, draw one card. So we got three generic spells. We got lightning again, glass shield and clam soldier. I hope we at least get some, some 
level up royals. Otherwise, this is going to feel screwed up royal. It's also weird that we get... Uh, it's also weird that we get, like, three Royals in a row. You'd think that would be, like, a one-per-pack thing to make it more draft-friendly. Like, this this is this is terrible for draft. Desert Oasis. All beasts under your control. Quicksand. Draw two cards. Heavy Rains. That's three spells in a row. High Blade. Heat Wave. Forgotten Fog. This one almost feels like a regular pack. Jungle Vines. We got, oh, we got more weather cards again, so that's what these are. Boulder. Got four weathers in a row. Five weathers in a row. And Spartapus. I am Spartapus. I am Spartapus. Spartapus may wield multiple equipments. It's because he's an octopus. Rare to the back. King G Bone Crusher. Uh, Queen Pythondia and Prince Shadowstalk. I think he's also from the starter deck, but no level twos yet. Heat Wave, Forgotten Fog, Jungle Vines, Boulder. This is literally what we got in the last pack. Comet Passing and Bam Boom. Ugh, shoot. Okay. On to the next one. Ah. Ooh, yeah, that's why you don't want to have the rare on the top is because stuff like that happens. Rare to the back. Snail Tank with Guardian. Wipeout. A Turtle also with Guardian. Camoleon. Camoleon enters the field as a copy of a beast or equipment on the field, so he has a generic stats. Minotaur Axe, Samurai Armor, Diamond Claws, Diamond Helmet, Navigation Goggles, five in a row, Hunter's Ammunition, Rhino Skin Armor, and Tap Out Taper. Yeah, how hard is it to get the to get the royals of the uh, of the other levels? I haven't gotten any of them yet. Okay. Queen Knight Swan, level 1. Prince Lefrog from the starter, level 1. Princess Spycoon, level 1. More random equipment in order again. And another Clam Soldier. I've been getting a lot of repeats of the rares, but I haven't been getting any of the leveled up royals, and that's frustrating me. It's frustrating me. I think I'm, I've, I've opened up a pretty good number of packs, and I've gotten a lot of the level 1s, but none of the other ones. Okay. King Croc. King K rule. If this beast has been dis if a beast has been discarded this turn, draw one card. Queen Night Swan, Prince LeFrog again. Uh, a lot of cards that I've already seen. I haven't been getting a lot of the character cards either. I've been getting lots of weather cards. Yeah, I've been getting like the back of the printing set. Maybe shuffling these was a mistake. <laughs> You'd think I'd be getting more beasts, but I've been getting like nearly nothing but equipment and weather. This has been this has been a terrible terrible box. I don't know if these cards have any value. King Gila, there's more. Quick Conda, Fair's Handpiece, more in order again. Amazon Dart Gun and P Dart. That's oh, a Poison Dart Frog. Whenever P Dart deals damage to a beast, that beast loses minus 10 might. Wait, it loses minus 10 might. That's a double negative. Maybe I should say it gets minus 10 might. Oop. I keep putting stuff that's not Royals. Like, I have, I have a million of the level 1 royals. You'd think the level 2 royals would have also been in the commons thing, and the level 3s would be the ones difficult to get, but I suppose not. Hmm. I haven't gotten any level 2s or level 3s, which is weird. It, it shouldn't take an entire booster box for me to get a couple of those. Hypo Hippo with Guardian. King Tutan Cab Cubra again, Cabra. Queen Shock Fox, I have a ton of those. I only ever need one of them. The level two should be common as well. And more weapons and equipment, but barely any beasts except for Spike Spike. Whenever Spike Spike is discarded, target opponent discards a card at random. So how many packs do I have left? It's a box of 36. Let me see. I can easily tell how many I've done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I've done 15 packs so far. So out of 36, that's a little under half. Still pretty... I'm feeling underwhelmed. I don't feel like I'm getting, like, really cool cards. I'm getting, like, starter deck characters all over the place. Prince Dark Sting again. Speak of the devil. Princess Rattleshot. It's a rattlesnake with a gun on the tail. <laughs> really? Okay, and more generic equipment. No beasts or anything. And bam, boom. 
It's a rattlesnake, but it's a gun. <laughs> Like, like, I don't know, like something out of, like, like an old internet cartoon or something. More generic royals at level one. Oh, at least we got some beasts in this one. Some more savannah beasts. A lot of savannah beasts. Nothing but savannah beasts. And Spike Spike, again. Uh, I'm starting to feel like they might have run out of ideas on these. But the disparity of just having it so randomly spread what you get, I wish they'd done more. I mean... I'd have personally guaranteed a royal per pack if it was up to me to aid in possible draft play, but that's just me. Princess Darkwing, level one again. Level one, level one. Got castles and no creatures again. Nothing but castles and Dark Horse. Weather cards cost one less to play as long as Dark Horse is on the field. Uh, that could be a that could be a plus or a minus. You cannot mix types. The categories are unmixable, so. Ah, I keep accidentally seeing that it's not a royal on my rare slot. Where on earth are the... Oh, we got some creatures here. They're rebels, though. And more weapons, 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 weapons. Nothing but weapons. Only weapons. And a, a hollow copy of Lemurdini. Oh, boy. It's not like I didn't get three copies of that in each starter deck. Okay. The Desert Oasis. We got Weather. Prince Stronghorn. Princess Whitehorn. We got uh, more royals at level one, but no level twos. Castle, 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 and Rage Rat. So we get the one rare in the back, but then it's basically a straight run of cards. This is, this is terrible. Oh my god. This is terrible. I mean, most, most, most games, the booster packs, they make sure they have a good, a good spread of, you know, card types, of attribute types. They have, they tend to have, like, a, a pretty... A pretty solid spread on that, but this game just hasn't had that. Killa, Gil, Killa, Gila, Slice Stallion, Quick Conda. Well, at least I got some creatures in this. I guess these first three are the uncommons, um, and that's that's why we keep getting the keep getting the royals here. And then the commons are everything except creatures and Parabom. Oh, he was actually on the box. Rush, I believe that's haste. Whenever Parabom attacks, look at the top card of your deck. You may discard it. I assume that has some, some combo potential. It annoys me that I haven't gotten a single... I haven't even gotten a level 2, and these guys go up to level 3. Tsunami, weather, weather. Oh, we actually got a beast in this one, but then we get weapon, 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 weapon. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Everything about this game is infuriating. There is absolutely no reason to buy these... Uh, buy these packs individually okay so hydro shock at least we got a creature this time capoeira an orangutan bonzi bob bobcat and then we have weapon oh we have castle 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 and toucanarang toucanarang loses minus 10 life and adds plus one to an equipment you control uh how does that effect work and again, that's a double negative. That's a double negative. That's confusing. Does he lose 10 life? Does that mean he gains the life back? Because that's what the double negative would say. Or is there some kind of minus 10 life counter that, that affects that? That's confusing. And then we got more, more friggin' royals again. Stronghorn and Whitehorn, Desert Oasis. And a big pile of savannah beasts. I haven't gotten a string of any other type. Chimp Chuck. <laughs> yeah. I've been getting like long strings of savannah beasts. I don't think I've been getting like strings of the other types of beasts. This is just awkward. And not a single level 2 character. Let alone level 3. <clears throat> Queen Shock Fox, Prince Dark Sting, Princess Rattleshot again. Another long string of Savannah Beasts. Got some weather. And Dive uh, Siva again. Why is he a rare? I got three copies of him in the starter deck. Are there like, are there, am I just barking up a wrong tree and there in fact are no level two or level three royals in these boxes? If I don't get a single one. Then this, th that, that settles it. This is terrible. Guard horns. Muscle moose. 
rock shell, and then we have weapon, 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 and two canarang. These packs are painfully predictable. Oh man, so bad, so bad, so bad. I don't know who was in charge of quality control on this game when this was being made, but this is awful. Armored Dillo and another long line of savannas and jungle vines, boulder, more weather again. I have so many of these, I'm sick of them. And at least, well, oh no, that's that. We've seen that one. I am down to, these packs have been so boring, I am already down to nine. I am down to, what is that, the, the, the final final like fourth of them yeah the final goes i'm already down 75 percent of the way down and i haven't gotten anything exciting any level twos any level threes anything another set of savannas king tutan cobra cabra and biomass cards again and so many savannah beasts porco you may play an equipment card from your discard its uses are now its uses are now its uses are now what Oh, God, this game. This game, I swear to God. Oh. That, that seriously need to do some... There is really terrible quality control going on on this game. Card to the back. Princess Delphine, King Iron Lion, Queen Elephant. More biomass. What? Well! <laughs> I'd hate to be the guy who opened this pack. Said the man who did in fact open that pack. You guys saw that. There was no adulteration, no editing, no anything. I think I'm gonna fire a, file a complaint with the company about this one because if you got a booster pack of Pokemon cards and inside that booster pack was nothing but energy, you would be rightfully upset. Wow. Blue lightning, eh. Six biomass in a row. Shoot, man. Ugh. And still, not a single level two or level three ruler. So, Queen Fire Llama, Prince Grizzlar, Princess Dark Wing. So we have more level ones. Weapon, 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 weapon. Funk Skunk. Discard a card, target beast cannot attack next turn. Moving right along. We are down to six packs, and we have not gotten a single level two or higher royal. Not one. Not a single gosh darn flippin' one. Okay. Green Jeans. <laughs> Green Jeans enters the battlefield as a copy of target beast. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay. White Thunder, when this beast deals damage in combat, his royal gains that much life. That seems like it's good in any deck. Chinkilla. That was the name of Jay Leno's uh, Robot Wars robot, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm getting a, I'm getting a, I'm getting a bit tired of this. It's, uh, I have not gotten a single royal that isn't level one. I've gotten many, many copies of all of the level one ones. You'd think the level twos would be just as easy to get as the level ones, but, uh, we, we, we cannot have nice things. Okay. Azquil, Barknado, Armadillo. And then we have Castle, Castle, Castle. And more biomass again. Three biomass in a pack. I feel ripped off. I feel really ripped off. Yep, I can already see it's not a, it's not a royal. The rare's not a royal. It's Spike Spike again. It's Spike Spike. Another level one, level one, King Croc, level one, level one. We have the Crawl again. Weapon, 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 all the way down, yep. Oh my god, two packs. Two packs remain. If these don't contain a level two and a level three royal, I am going to feel ripped off. This is awful. Well, I can already tell the rare's not a royal because it has a might stat, okay. Weather, 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 and then another weather, and then weather, and then weather, and then weather. Did I get... Yeah, weather, weather. Literally nothing but weather cards. No beasts, no royals, no nothing, and hammer claw. Another street shark. 
This is it, the last one. This is gonna contain like all of our leveled up royals and stuff, isn't it, right? Otherwise, I'm gonna say that this thing is screwed up royal. And there's no way that this is a repack. It's like impossible to, oh, look at that. It's a card I got three copies of in each starter deck. Jackknife, kill a Gila, slice stallion, then glass shield, weapon, 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 the crawl again, weapon and weapon. That was crap, guys. Okay, that was awful. I feel like I didn't get any meaningful cards out of this entire set. Like, several of the rares were cards that I get multiple copies of in the starter deck. Like, Joe Call, I get, like, three of in each starter deck. Um, Dive Scythe, I got three of in each starter deck. Lemurdini, yeah, these, these, this booster box felt like a waste. And I did not get a single royal higher than level one and these guys can go all the way to level three you saw that in the starter deck video this is pitiful this is ridiculous i'm glad i didn't pay this thing at full price could you imagine could you just imagine paying full price for any kind of booster box of any kind of game that was this laughably terrible i mean i i don't think it was bad luck i i legitimately believe that there are no level two or level three royals in this entire set i legitimately believe that and nothing could change my mind i don't care if like like the the developers put out a statement saying oh there's level two and three in there well they're not common enough they are very much not common enough the availability of the level two and level three royals if they do even if they even exist in this set is absolutely laughable laughable pathetic and inexcusable like the level two should be common like you can make the level threes the chase all you want but the level twos are what people the level twos should be as common as the level ones in order to in order to just make them playable for people like like none of these are in any kind of playable state because i just don't have any of their support i would have to leave them as they are and i would not be able to get any of the any of the cool you know any cool effects let's say i got i got like let's see how many copies i got of each of them like i got i think i got like two of each two of each royal i got i got yeah i got i got three tutankabras i got three shock fox i got uh, how many prince dark stings i got three dark stings I got three rattle shoots. I got one King Iron Lion, but I got th oh King Iron Lion. He's a savannah. He goes over here. Yeah, I got three of each of the Desert Royals, but none of their level up cards. Um, let's see. I got. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I got more than yeah. I got two of each of the Savannah Royals, but none of their level ups. I got uh, looks like looks like one of each of the Nature with two copies of G Bone Crusher, and none of their level ups. I got at least one of each of the, yeah, I got one of each of the mountains, but none of their level ups. I got, <clears throat> did I get two of each of the, I almost got two of each of the ocean ones and none of their level ups. And I got like, I got like so many of these. I got, I get, this was another one that I, I'm pretty sure I got like three of, yeah, I got three of that one. Got three of that one. I got four. Four of each of these. Yeah, I got... I got, like, at least three of each of these and none of their level ups. This is pathetic, you guys. You guys, Beast Clans, what are you doing? What are you doing out there? This was this was abysmal, abominable. I cannot recommend your game to anybody. I cannot recommend this product to anybody. Definitely not the booster sets, because, like I said, what people would be fishing for are the level 2 and level 3 royals. The level 2s... It would be fine if they were as common as the level 1s because the level 3s are the ones that really matter the most. But I did not get a single level 2 or level 3 period, which tells me that they do not exist in this set. And there's nothing in the box indicating that they don't exist in this set. I, like I said, I'm convinced that they're just not in this set. This was awful. This was terrible. I'm sick of it. This is the last video on Beast Clans. Good night. Actually, no, I'm not done because... I did a little bit of research, and it turns out the problems with this booster box are just way worse than I had thought. Um, so, 
you can see on the breakdown here, we, we, uh, the, the box, the, the contents, we got 52 level one Royals. That is an average of one and a half per pack. And we got none of higher levels. And these are cards that you only ever need one copy of. And I was getting like three to four copies of a lot of these characters. I got no level twos and no level threes, but I'm not really going to talk about that right now because the reason that I didn't get those is actually even more mind blowing than before. But there are 24 Royals and six of them are in the starter decks and probably have no business being in these booster packs. Cause if I don't want them, I could just get the starter deck instead and that leaves just 16 left, but I got 52. That, like I said, that's one and a half per pack. That is way too many. Um, you look at other games like uh, like Light Seekers or like Dragon Ball. If, if you have a game that uses an avatar card, like what we have here, the industry standard is to include one hero card per pack with their rarity decoupled from the rest of the pack to make sure that players get always get one hero card that they can use in case of events like draft play or something like that. We got 21 basic biomass cards. They were always in groups of three. And you saw the one pack that was six biomass. Like, like, could you imagine paying full price for that booster pack and getting nothing but these useless tracking cards? They're not even essential components to the game. Um, as for the rest of the cards, one third of the cards that weren't from this category were from the Rebel Kingdom, that is Universal Cards. That's a lot. Um, the starter decks each came, they, they were like half Rebel Cards. So I assumed that the booster packs were slated in such a way that you would obtain cards that allow you to offset all of those Rebel Cards and instead get things more dedicated to the deck strategy, but that didn't seem to be the case. With the exception of Savannah, where I got a ton of uh, beast cards. The, you know, the beast cards, the thing the game is named after, the things that generate all the excitement. Um, except for Savannah and Rebel, the number of beast cards I got for each of the other regions, I could count on one hand. That's all of them. That's all the the ones I got for Mountain Clan. I got three for the Mountain Clan for the, the, the Ocean Clan. I got four. Four. Yeah, that is absolutely pathetic for an entire booster box to have so few characters. Three between, between three and six. I think I got a few more on the desert one, but that is that is abysmal. And you saw how uh, so so that means that most of the packs were covered in like the like I got a lot I got a lot of uh, a lot of soldiers for this guy, but they're most of the other regions. It's all these weapons and armors and weather cards in, in in quantities that i am never going to need this deck this game caps at three and i was getting like four or five copies of uh, of of so many of these cards but none of the none of the the beast cards and another thing about these booster packs is you notice that there were packs that just contained like nothing but the same type of card like they were all savannah beasts or they were all weapons or all weather and that's because the, the collators for these these booster packs. So the print shops, what they do is they collate the cards. This is how they randomize them. They get collated in such a way to make sure that the booster packs contain a pretty good random assortment. But what happened here is instead, the booster packs seem to be broken up into one foil card, three uncommons, and three commons, three commons twice. So six commons, but like in sets of three. And they were loaded up in sequence they were sick they were sequentially loaded if these cards had collector numbers on them i'm not sure why a game made in 2015 doesn't have those um we would have seen the numbers counting up bakugan also has this problem uh but you see them you just see the numbers just straight up like counting counting up into uh, counting up in the numbers so they, they were not really like shuffled or anything that's how if you got a pack with a royal in it odds are good you were going to get like three royals all in sequence if you got a uh if you got a biomass card you were gonna get three biomass cards and at least once even six biomass cards so there was very low quality you know, very low qa very low quality control on on these booster packs here although that's not the worst thing you know what the worst thing was remember how i said that these stacks of foils were my rare cards turns out i was wrong do you know how many rare cards i got in this booster box of 36 packs guess I got zero. 
I got zero rares in this entire booster box. You know, the, the card that, you know, that's supposed to be like one per pack, those kinds of rares. Apparently, the print shop that made this booster box just, you know, forgot to put them in. They, they, they just forgot to add the rare cards. That's why I didn't get anything other than level one rulers is because the packs just did not get any rare cards put in, in them at all. These, these are parallel foils of common cards. So I guess this does increase my uh, my monster count by a little bit for each region, especially mountain, because I got a lot of those. But these are all these are all commons. I don't think there were even any uncommon parallel foils in here. These are all common foils. So there were zero rare cards in this entire booster box. I checked. Apparently, Catman Do actually is a rare card, but I got Catman Poo, so I did not get that because it, it's poo just like this booster box is poo this is why quality assurance quality controls are important otherwise you get a joke like this like like i got this booster box for like three quarters of its normal price and even i feel ripped off could you imagine could you imagine buying a booster box for any game and i mean any game at full price and not receiving a single rare card in the entire thing and i don't mean rare as in like ooh, this is a card that's valuable this is a chase card not like an omnimon or something but like even the trash rares you get no rares at all no good rares no bad rares just no rares period you would feel pissed off i've actually I, i've i've sent i've sent an email I, i've i've asked i've requested comment from the makers behind beast clans i haven't gotten back yet the uh you saw these, this was sealed. This was a sealed box with sealed packs inside. So it's not like somebody went in and took out all the rares and resealed the packs. No, um, honestly, Beast Clans, I don't think is a valuable enough property for somebody to even try to do something like that. Um, so this really was just an absolute joke of packaging. This is why if you're going to do a trading card game, you need that quality assurance. You need to make sure that you get a test run of like the booster packs, the booster boxes, because this is inexcusable. This is, I got none of the good cards I could play with. Like, like I said, the big selling point are the Royals and the Beasts, and I barely got any of those to play with. A instead, I was overloaded by cards that are essentially useless and worthless. And honestly, like I said, this booster box is a joke. I have never seen, I've never seen anything quite like this. Um, also, I'm not sure why they made the level two characters rare cards as well. I mean, if, if it were up to me, I would make the level ones and the level twos be really super easy to get. So anybody can at least get a good semblance of playing with the Royals and make the level threes be those rare chase cards that people want and hunt for and trade for. I think that would have probably been a better system. But... Even even if the level twos were still rares, that's a better system than what I got here, which is includes zero rares in any of the packs. Jesus. Oh. Man, I I'm sorry, you guys, but this is the most pathetic excuse for a product I've ever seen for a trading card game. I mean, even if I buy, you know, booster boxes from that one game, I know I'm going to be getting rares. Yeah, yeah. Master your quality controls. Wrangle those quality controls. There have been... Plenty, we have had like 30 years of, uh, at least like 25, 25 years to get this right. Uh, let's say trading card games, that was 1993, 94, somewhere in, somewhere in that vicinity. We've had a long time to get this right. After the, uh, after the, you know, like, like the Wild West, they settled this in the Wild West, including cards in proper quantities, making sure you don't get any duplicates, don't load the cards in packs in sequence. Make sure that the rarity spreads per box are really nice. Like, I remember, I remember, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, Flesh and Blood. I did a whole thing about Flesh and Blood, and their booster packs were, they were, they were tailored. They were sweet. What they did was, there was, you got a token in every single pack, and these tokens were, like, character tokens or, like, weapon tokens or tokens that you could use to stand in for other things. But each booster box of Flesh and Blood has the same token spread so you always get a complete set of them and that includes the the powered up versions of the characters that includes the special tokens that are generated by effects that even includes some spare uh cards that you can put into any deck to act as a basic energy resource this this uh flesh and blood gives us a really good example of how to put a booster box together that was uh 
it was last year that they came out and they've been doing really well. They are an indie game as well. They are, they came from a, an independent studio and they're doing really well because they have a combination of, you know, good, good core game design, good booster box design, a lot of really good stuff. Beast Clans is the opposite of good. It is the opposite of what you want to do. This is going to be one of my lessons to you guys on how to make a trading card game. Vet your, properly vet who's doing your printing because a print shop just straight up forgetting to put a rarity of card in your booster packs is something that should end a contract. It should end careers. It should end jobs to make a mistake of that caliber. Um, and I don't mind dragging their reputation a bit. I don't think, I don't know if, if they even are aware of, of this. I, I took a quick look online and I didn't see anybody commenting about it so either they were covering it up or i was just really unlucky or or who knows we'll see what they say for comment because i filmed this that's going to be kind of impossible for them to dispute my claims so yeah so that is a look at just an awful 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 product like i said it's not a judgment on the game itself i'm sure the game is amazing i'd love to be able to play it if i got any of the good cards but as a product as a product beast clans is the most pathetic trading card game product I have ever seen. So yeah, that's Beast Clans for now. And until next time, this is Kodak signing off.